Ryer, when I was in second grade, my parents had an Apple IIe and they bought me a literal book just filled with things I should type into BASIC right. as programs. Right. That was when I learned about a game called Mancala. I don't know if Mancala sounds too sinister. Mancala. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. So now I'll do that. And oh, I you did these. Yeah. 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 All right. <laughs> now we're playing the game. Not really yet. <laughs> we're still learning. This is part of the learning round. <laughs> Hey, this episode of The Modern Rogue is brought to you by Squarespace. Head on over to squarespace.com slash rogue, that's R-O-G-U-E, to start a free trial and get 10% off your first purchase. Little Brian thanks you. So I learned about Mancala, and I have not thought about this game since I was in second grade. Right. But then I looked it up and I found out it originates all the way back to uh, 5800 BC. This game is uh, eight, however many years uh, ago uh, 8, that was. Years it's ago. a long yeah, time. Yeah, 8,000 yeah. years old. It's They're around the same time the Apple II came out, right? Okay. All right. <laughs> As you would imagine, any game that is 8,000 years old is going to have many variations. Yeah. Okay. So how do you how do you play? Okay. This is the version of Mancala that we're playing. The board is simple and easy to improvise. You can literally play this game on the beach with nothing but drawn lines and a bunch of pebbles. I mean, we set this up in like five minutes with just stuff. Yes. There are two rows of six pits each. These are the spots where players store their pieces. Additionally, there are two stores, one on each end of the board. A player's total score is the contents of their store, and those pieces can't be removed once they're added. The game starts with four pieces placed in each pit. The pieces are sometimes called seeds because there's a whole agricultural theme going on here. On a player's turn, they can choose one pit on their side of the board and distribute all the seeds from that pit. This action is called sowing. You then have to place one seed per pit counterclockwise, including your store, but not your opponent's store, until all the seeds from the chosen pit have been sowed. That's pretty simple, but some special things happen when you sow and the last seed lands in the right place. If it lands in your store, your opponent's upcoming turn is forfeited, so you get to go again immediately. However, if the last seed lands in an empty pit on your side of the board, you get to capture both that seed and any seeds in the pit directly opposite in your opponent's row. The objective is to capture more seeds than your opponent. The game ends when one player's side of the board is empty. When that happens, the other player gets to capture all remaining seeds and both players compare their totals. Do you want to play like an example game here? Yeah, let's play a quick example round. Why don't you start us off? You get first move. I'm going to start with this one. Yep. So I can go one, two, three, four. And because you ended in the bucket. I get a second turn. Correct. Okay, so I'll do this pile. One, two, three, four. Perfect. I'm just gonna copy your move because we're playing by basic strategy right here. Three, four, I get a free move. Right. But at this point, I notice that you have an empty space. And in general, I want to keep you from having empty spaces because like if I if my last one were to go here, I get to steal right. all of these. Right. So I wanna cover up all of your, your spaces. So I'll, I'll take, uh, you know what? Actually, I'm going to start here mm. because if anything ends up with all the way one piece, it's like a free point. Right. So I'll go one, two, three, four, five. Now it's your turn. Okay. So then I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. Still, you're empty. Right. So now you've blocked me off from being able to steal pieces. This is five. Uh, this is five. One. Two, three, four, five, which means... You get another move. I think... Oh, you know what? My next move... I almost, wa I almost walked right past <laughs> the free point. Because my next move, because I get another move, is this. It's another free point. And now I'll go... Two. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Nice. And you've set yourself up for another free move. Free move, move on my turn. But right. it's your turn right. now. Right. Okay. So I'm going to go... 
Interesting. Never forget your fight. Yeah. Hmm. Ah, it looks like you're setting something up, so I'm gonna mess with you. I'll go one, two. Okay. I'm gonna keep on messing no! with you. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, there we go. Yeah. Okay. So you saw you saw what yeah. I was doing because yeah. I was yeah. purposely have to steal that giant chunk of your. Coins. So at this yeah. point, you're aware that you've got big caches of money that are waiting to get robbed. Yep. If I'm able to land here, that would be bad news. If I was to land here, yep, that'd be bad news. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Dang. Uh, you say dang as if you didn't just point out. <laughs> I was hoping you'd forget. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> so now I will threaten <laughs> this one piece. Oh, no. Actually, you know what? I'll just go. <laughs> oh, so you're just going to tear everything up? <laughs> Some men just want to watch the world burn. <laughs> like a tangerine. <laughs> okay, so I'm sure you know this, but you left me two here, which means I'm gonna get mm -hmm. a free point. Yep. Actually, mm, oh. Ooh. Is there a touch move rule to this, like in chess? I think you can pick your thing up, that's fine. As soon as you put so if you had a stack here, you pick it up, whatever, you can put that down. But if you pick it up and then you place one, you can't pick that up. Okay, well, if we were playing for reals, then I would be screwed because I forgot to take my free point first. Yep. Also, didn't you end on an empty spot on that last turn? Oh, you're right, I did. You know what? It's a good thing this is the learning, learning. round. Right, yeah. So don't worry about it. Here, I go one, two. And then I go uh, uh, one, two. We're gonna play for reals. Let's just okay, finish this up. Okay, go ahead, great. go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Tear up, Briar. Clap, clap, clap. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Tear up, Briar. <laughs> <laughs> I landed in there and then I get to go again. All right, so now I'll do that. And oh, I you did these. Yeah. Yeah. yeah! All right, <laughs> now we're playing the game. Not really yet. <laughs> we're still learning. This is part of the learning <laughs> round. Uh, 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 You could theoretically have a lot of trouble yes. if your side became completely empty yep. because I would capture all of these. Especially with this big stack that you've got hoarded over here, yeah. And there's no ammunition Nothing. to take this down. Nope. So I guess I'll just do a little... It's cute. <laughs> that was really cute of you to do that. You got a free move. Sure <laughs> as hell do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the game is over! Oh, jeez. <laughs> I wonder who won. <laughs> Changes things when you when you I think about the I don't like that rule. <laughs> <laughs> I was relying on the chaos of the ending. Well, since I won the first round, uh, uh, you, sir, have the honors of going first. Okay. One, two. Standard opening. Yeah. But like most games, eventually you get to kind of know your opponent and you get to mess with them. So I'm going to do something counterintuitive. Mm -hmm. Usually, the second turn, you want to clear out one or the other of these so that you can uh, get those free points. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I am now, because we've played a couple rounds of this, part of me wants to just throw a spanner in the works and just start behaving erratically. So, there's that. so that, when it, by picking this one up... You are setting yourself up I'm for I'm setting free myself point. up for a free point because you don't have any way to mess up that free point next round. Right. And I feel like I'm messing up your stuff by doing that. <laughs> 
I can't play ahead. It's like. <laughs> it really is. Okay, all right, that's good. You got a free, a free round. Are you patronizing me right now? No, <laughs> I'm trying to be kind. You were talking to me and I almost missed my free point and my free turn. You gotta know your opponent. And then I'm gonna mess <laughs> your shit up. God damn. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna get my point. All well and good. Free point. Mm. Let's go miss your stuff. Right? Uh, uh, explain, explain that yeah, so, so for everyone at home. I had a blank pocket here. You you land you ended, I landed on a on blank it. spot, which means you get to grab that. You don't get another turn, but you do get, get three to capture points. everything. Yep. Yeah. And I'll do the same. All right. That was a net zero on that. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got two big stacks of coins. I've got one really big stack. No real win there for either of us, right? It's not really a good strategy to have. Okay, well, I'm gonna take my free point while yep, you're a fancy yep. magician hand. You can't distract me from that. Mm. Free point. Set that up. Now, at this point, I have to decide. Do I want to go forward with this big stack and give you a bunch because I might be about to run out of pieces? Maybe you're going to have at least one in every single thing, so that's going to be a while till you run out. Yeah, I'm going to slow walk it. Okay, I'm going to take my point. Yeah, there you go. Now you have to distribute a bunch of your stuff to me, including a free point. And so now my turn, I'm going to take... Oh, that's a capture. That's a capture, yeah. Oh, this oh, one. oh, there you go. Also, yes. So, yeah. Good call. Good call, judges. Good call. <laughs> now it's my second, second turn. turn. Yep. Uh, I want this guy to stick around for a bit. Well, I want you to have to have that guy stick around for a bit, so I'm actually not going to take my free point. I'm just going to move one square. <gasps> I didn't even think about that strategy. Yeah. No! 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 I didn't even do a three point! No! <laughs> Those are all yours. My board is clean. Now here's the question. Who won? So uh, an easy way to find out is to reset, reset the board. The board. <laughs> yeah. It's also a good way to make sure you play this all night. <laughs> oh man, you crushed me. I can tell. <laughs> I'm in trouble. <laughs> oh, my board's already reset. You, Look oh, at that. you son of oh. a gun. <laughs> Here, oh, do you need three coins? I do. Do you need three? I need three. One more? It should be worth noting that Brian earlier today said, I beat the computer three times. I know how this game goes. Technically, what I said was, I beat the computer three times. I'm pretty much a grandmaster. I'm pretty much a grandmaster. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an expert. All right. I won. So I you guess go you first. won, so I'll go first. Yeah. Um, I won, so you go first <laughs> because I. I'm gonna stick one. I'll play the standard best opening, and then I will cover my bases, and it's your turn. Mm. Wait, why'd you put two in there? I didn't. I put one in, I got my point, and I get to go again. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> 
you did that in a way that makes me think that you're trying to do something, but I don't think you're trying to do anything. I think you're just trying to play me. I'm gonna take my point. Oh, I see what you're doing. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Damn, that was really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I did that. So I think we've learned how to play the game. <laughs> <laughs> There's layers on layers to this thing. Dumbest thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey, um, so that's main call. <laughs> uh, hey, Brian, can I borrow a couple tokens? I wonder who won. <laughs> I wonder who won. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, I've seen something like this before. The ancient curse of Mancala claims another. There have been five cases across as many states in the past 15 years, and they all had one thing in common. They won around using the hoarder's gambit. But on the last move, their opponent quietly robbed them of a piece. <sighs> the sanctity of Mancala was broken, and it can only be mended by Squarespace, the sponsor of this video. Go to squarespace.com rogue to start a free trial and let them help you make a website. Let's say you sold recipes for a potent anti-Mancala curse juice. Sounds useful. It's the only one of its kind. <laughs> I got some of it on me. Never drink the juice. It is toxic to ingest. Or maybe you want to sell something that doesn't break international law. Then you could sell it with flexible payment options on Squarespace. Credit cards, Apple Pay, PayPal, that sort of thing. You can get the website up and running quickly with Squarespace's new blueprint tools. But if you know your way around writing code, you can dig deep and make the website your own. Be still, little Brian. This is the only way. Uh, it might take a little while to kick in. Maybe Sohan can help us out with a catalyst. So make your way over to squarespace.com slash rogue. That's R-O-G-U-E to start a free trial and get 10% off your first purchase. Never touch the juice. Modern Rogue is supported in part by viewers like you at patreon.com slash modern rogue. Brian and Ryer actually played an extra round that didn't make sense to put into this video, but patrons will be able to see it in the upcoming First Pass Edit video. If that interests you, consider checking it out. Yeah, I mean, I think like Monopoly comes out with like a new expansion thing like two times a year, right? So yeah. there's gotta be, yeah. Yeah, so consider ours the Miss Monopoly of Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the bow? <laughs> Uh, okay. Mancala yeah. with different ghosts. <laughs> <laughs>